Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this stained glass effect accent nail. Um, today I'm doing a tutorial that was inspired by uh, a tutorial that Gina So Guess What 11 did. It is her Neon Funk tutorial. I've always wanted, I've always thought that this uh, image right here looks like um, a stained glass window. And I've always wanted to do something stained glass with it, but I wasn't quite sure how. Um, until I saw that tutorial and now I think I might have an idea. So what I've done is I've started here on my nail with um, just a base coat in a neutral color. You can do it in any kind of white or beige. I've done it with um, Sally Hanston Insta Dry's uh, 130 Beige Blast, but you can use any one that you want. <clears throat> And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the design over this in a color that's a little bit darker, but that won't show through when I sponge on top of it. And I'm going to use that as a guide for my design. So for this I'm using Rimmel Steel Gray. So I'm going to use that to stamp the design over it to use my guide. And now I've got the image on my stamper. And I am going to line it up with my nail as best I can here and roll it on over my nail. Okay. And now you can see I've got, let me get it in shot here, I've got the design stamped over my nail. Um, and it, it's a little hard to see because it's very light. But that's going to be what I'm going to use as the guide for where I want to sponge the different colors. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my red because this is the, the one that takes the longest to dry. Um, one of the things that I'm noticing as I'm practicing this a couple of times is that the faster drying polishes are better for this, but I don't have... Um, faster drying polishes and all of the colors that I like. So right now I'm just going to stamp over, or excuse me, sponge over the area right here of that rosette that I want to be red. And it's not quite even. Okay, there it's starting to be more even. And I'm going to come back and maybe put a little bit more red there. While I wait for it to dry a little bit, I'm going to do the other two rosettes here in purple. Oh, I should say that this red is um, Wet n Wild, and it is, I read a good book. And my purple here is Pronto Purple, Sally Hanston Insta Dry. So, Pronto Purple. Okay. All right. Get a little bit on my sponge there, and then just stamp where those other two circular areas are that I want to kind of look like flowers, well, flowery areas anyway. So now what I was thinking is I kind of want the bottom to look a little bit green like grass and then the top is going to be blue like sky. So for the green, I have Wet n Wild Fast Dry in Sagrina the Teenage Witch 260. And by the way, I made this as difficult as possible for myself. This is my first tutorial that I've ever done, and I'm doing it with my off hand. I'm actually left-handed, but I have a design on my other hand that I want to keep right now for another purpose. So, I really decided to stack the deck against me with this, making this tutorial. Um, but, you know, why not? Why not get the hard stuff out of the way all in one go? Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm just, a little bit as possible, um, putting some green down. And then as it's getting a little bit lighter, I'm going into the areas of overlap because I don't want it to get too muddy. Like, 
So I'm just trying to get a little bit of green in these areas. Now I'm going to come back and do a little bit more of the green here in a second. But while that first coat is kind of drying, I'm going to pull out the blue and try to do the sky area a little bit. Get a little bit on my sponge there. And then just come up here, trying to be careful. And when there's a lot of paint on there, trying to do an area where I don't have to worry about the overlap too much. And then come down in between. And if it's not perfect, it's okay because remember, big black lines are going to go over this. So if there's like a little bit of a gap or whatever, it's probably not going to be the end of the world. So don't worry too much about getting everything exactly perfect and lined up. And Okay, so if you can see here, I've got different areas of different colors of polish sponged over where the different circles were on that design that looks like a stained glass window to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on a coat of Sechvit to help it dry and I'm going to clean up the cuticles and I will be back. Okay, so it should be dry enough now for me to stamp the final stamp on top of it. So I'm going to take my Conad Black Polish. Okay, now what I'm going to do is try to line up the design with where I had it stamped before. So here is the design with the areas that I sponged and then the final stamp on top of it to look like a stained glass window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it up with another coat of Sechvit and then it's all done. So there you have it, all done. Stained glass effect that you can use with any kind of design that's like this.